Hey, this is Rick and welcome back to another unboxing, um, partial unboxing and review. You know, I'm always doing reviews on products and stuff. Well, I've had some problems in the past with actually telling you what wattage is in there. I go by what the manufacturer says. So I purchased this item here and this is a watt tester. It does a lot of other functions also. And it has a digital display, which should show up here. It has a function key, cost key, up and down arrow. And you plug your appliance into this to find out exactly what wattage you have coming out of it. To be able to calculate your electric costs. You have what's called, um, what they like to refer to as electric vampires. And those are appliances and products in your home that are plugged in constantly. And you want to find out how much they're drawing. Even though you're not using them, could be cable boxes, TVs, whatever you have plugged in. Could be your charger for your phone that just stays there. It'd be nice to know what it is. So this is made by a company, I guess, Intertech. I've seen several of them on the market uh, on Amazon and eBay. Um, they don't usually put like a stamp on here for a, a number or a model number or anything like that. It says Cat2 on there. One company probably makes them and then a whole bunch of different distributors uh, snatch them up. It's got the US plug on there. You can get these in overseas model with the UK plug on them. So what you do is you go ahead and you plug this into a power strip like this. So it looks like it's going to just be a black type of an LED screen that shows up. I'll bring this up a little closer. Maybe you can see it there. And right now it's got the W on there, so I believe it's in the watt function. If you click on it, it's got kilowatt per hour, voltage, amps, and we're back to wattage. Wattage low, wattage high, and then there's a cost in kilowatts per hour, it looks like, that you can calculate that appliance or that particular item that you got plugged in is costing. So I put it back on wattage. It uh, looks like it does come with a user manual. It says power meter instruction manual. I don't know how great that's going to be. Figure out. It does tell you about time voltage frequency display, time and slash maximum power display LCD, how to reset the unit, and apparently it takes 3.6 volt rechargeable batteries, nickel metal hydrides, and that just holds the settings so that you can store them. Now, if you've seen some of my other videos, you've seen when I've tested these other light bulbs that I use a ceramic housing like that. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to plug that in to the tester. And now we're plugged in. So here we'll take a bulb that was purchased at Lowe's. It says Megalite. And this is a fluorescent CFL bulb. And it is telling me that it is a 13 watt bulb. So we'll take the function back again. Wattage is at zero. Screw it in. And it's up to 12.8 to 12.9. So this is saying a 13 CFL. You can see right there, 13.7. Pretty darn close. And we'll screw in this big LED bulb that I bought with multiple LEDs. And this is supposed to be a 24 watt grow bulb. You can see right there on the wattage indicator, it's coming in 19.7. So round up almost 20 watts. It's four watts off what the manufacturer says it is. But for these off-brand bulbs, it's pretty close. We'll take one of my other LED bulbs, grow light bulbs. We'll screw that in. This is supposed to be rated for 28 watt, believe it or not. A little bulb like this. And it is pretty bright though. Now that's probably blinding the camera there. That's absolutely a misrepresentation then of this particular bulb. Um, it is bright enough to go ahead and grow some small seedlings and stuff. I've tested it out, but that's an exaggeration of what the manufacturers are quoting on their sites. So that's supposed to come in at 28 watts. Pretty interesting because we're coming in at 4.3 if you can see that. Unscrew that one. Now here's another LED bulb. It's a globe bulb. It's supposed to simulate a regular incandescent bulb, which we're phasing out. And we're actually phasing out the CFLs now, too, in place of the LEDs, because the LEDs don't have any environmental issues in there when, uh, when breaking down or recycling. If they're left in landfills, they're not as bad as these because they're filled with mercury. This is just a cheap LED bulb that I can pick up now for a dollar. If you're interested in these bulbs, uh, let me know. There's the specs for it right there. 
equivalent to a 60 watt incandescent. I'll do a review on these at a later time. Just uh, let me know in the description if you want to check them out. So we'll go ahead and we'll plug this one in. Man, those LED bulbs are bright. So the manufacturer on this says that it's supposed to be 9 watt. So we'll look at the meter and it's coming in at 8.5. 8.6 is going up a little bit. So that's close to 9 watts. It's not too far off. So I guess this meter is fairly accurate. And we found out a lot of the other bulbs that were on eBay are not what they're stated in their descriptions as for wattage. So that was interesting. You take this out. So that's it. That's a partial review on this meter. Give me a thumbs up, share it, subscribe. And if there's any products that I showcase in my videos, I usually put links on the YouTube channel down by the description. Take care.